next thing you know the whole school knew about it i was super embarrassed because it's like damn i thought i was a hoe hey guys welcome to my youtube channel you guys really haven't got to know me and like a little bit about myself so today i will be doing a get to know me video in my car right now so let's get started what is your full name my full name is julie antoinette and my last name is none of your business but I like being called Jules because I, it's a nickname that I got back in elementary school and I just fuck with it heavy. But yeah, please call me Jules. What's your age? I am 24 years old. My birthday is on February 25th and I was born 1999. Um, where do you live? I live in Manchester, New Hampshire, one of the wackest state ever. I've been here for 17 years and I do not recommend anybody to come here ever. Like there's nothing to do here besides hiking and what else? You can go rock climbing. Do I look like someone who rock climbs? I am moving by the end of this month to North Carolina, so I'm super excited. What is your nationality? So I'm African, my mom's Liberian, my dad is Ivorian, Ivory Coast, if you guys don't know. Um, but I do claim my Liberian side more because I don't speak French and I don't live with my father. How tall are you? I am 5'6". What made you want to start a YouTube channel? My light just went off on me, what the fuck? There we go. Honestly, I like recording myself a lot. So I was just like, why not start a YouTube channel? I used to have a YouTube channel um, when I was little, but I don't know what happened to that account, but I used to always record myself. I'll be that weirdo just posting on Facebook for no reason with zero likes. Like, I, I just like recording myself. I like keeping memories. So why not share it with YouTube? Um, what's your favorite fast food restaurant? My favorite fast food restaurant would have to be McDonald's. I feel like no other fast food restaurant I feel like no other fast food restaurant can beat their chicken nuggets like no way you can't tell me nothing don't look at my nappy edges like I was not trying to do a full lace front today don't do it don't don't do it do you want kids do you see my body do you see my body do I want to ruin this body for anybody no nope. I'm just kidding but I do want kids but it has to be with the it has to be with the right person because this is a whole human you're creating and this is somebody that's gonna be there for life like ain't no turning back after this once you guys see me with a baby bump just know i love that nigga he's loyal even even if we don't work out i know he got me for life and my baby for life like we gonna be good i have kids i want four kids two boys two girls whatever i get god bless me but lord I want my first child to be a boy. I was raised by so many females, like there's barely any males around me. So I just, I just want to have that experience raising a son. But whatever, whatever I get, I'll be blessed. But if, if I have a girl and she has my attitude, it's going down. It's going down because I, I know I got an attitude, but I'm working on it. I'm, I'm definitely working on it. What age did you lose your virginity? I lost my virginity at age 16. And I remember the first time I gave it up to this dude. I was so embarrassed because he told his cousin, his cousin told his his friends, his friends told my sister, and it was, it was crazy. And the next thing you know, the whole school knew about it. I was super embarrassed because it's like, damn, I thought I was a hoe. Everybody else didn't lose their virginity. You know, my friends told me they lost their virginity, but later on they told me they lost it before me. And I was just like, mm, y'all sneaky bitches. Are you single, taken, or in a relationship and why? Little nasty. I am single. 
Why am I single? Is because, like I said before, I'm looking for the right person. You don't have to be perfect. I'm not asking for too much. Like, I feel like there's no genuine niggas out there that truly want to get to know me. But nowadays, everybody just want to fuck and play games. Like, I'm 24. I'm ready for something serious. And telling dudes you want something serious somehow scares them. I don't know why. But from the jump, I'm going to tell you what it is. If that's not what you want, then bounce. Because I'm not, I don't, I don't got time to be your fuck buddy. Like, it's 2023 like niggas don't got time for that anymore we're looking for something serious like life is too short to just be someone hoe like you can be someone wife and you you chose to be a hoe for what no what turns you off about a guy i would have to say lack of communication because it's just like no one likes communicating at the end of the day but if you're really fucking with somebody you're gonna take your time and effort to try and communicate but if you don't do that it shows me that you don't want me and whoever you want is clearly not me so i'm not gonna waste my time once i get a whack-ass reply i'm not responding back to you and if i do respond back to you it's gonna be hours later it's like you're wasting my time bet i'm gonna waste yours so it's lack of communication that's all it's not it's not hard to communicate with somebody you like so you're clearly not fucking with me that's why you're not communicating with me and i'm not no ass so i'm just gonna be like okay bye it's that simple you a smoker or a drinker um i'm definitely a drinker i can't smoke for shit i can't be handling my liquor but i'm definitely a drinker like, i'm a whole different person when i smoke i get paranoid i get anxiety i just feel like the whole world is coming for me like i hate it but can you count on for anything honestly i can't count on anybody for anything because i feel like I don't know i just have that pride where i feel like i gotta hustle to get what i want like everything i have here i hustled for it not my mother not my sister me but if it ever came down to it where i really do need help i would ask my sister ivory but that's about it i feel like i can't depend on anybody else like nobody um your future career future career my future career is to be a nurse um I know I'm not the smartest person ever, but if I really put my mind to it and study, I can accomplish anything. Um, people are telling me, oh Jules, don't do it, don't do it, you can't do it. I'm gonna prove y'all wrong. Just wait, in five years from now, five years from now, I'm gonna be a nurse. Where do you see yourself in five years? I see myself engaged, probably pregnant. Um, and having my LPN certificate or a nurse degree, that's where I see myself. And in, Je in Jesus' name, amen. And what is your hidden talent? My hidden talent is... Oh my God, what is that? Is braiding. Like, I can really braid. People don't think I can, but I really can. Um, I found out I could braid when one day I saw my mom just like begging people to do her hair and she's paying like 150, 200 just to get her hair done. And I'm just like, yo, let me practice on your head one day and see if you like it. And if you like it, I'll continue to do your hair. Um, the first time I did my mom's hair, she loved it. Like, I was just like, yo, I can really braid. Like, I'm gonna show y'all pictures up here. Like, I was that was my first time braiding and I loved it. No, actually, I braided my sister hair first. Yeah, I braided my sister hair first, and she loved it, and then she wanted me to do her hair. And then now, yo, they're annoying. They don't want to pay me. I'm doing hair for free. But you know what? It's their family, I guess. But I'm going to start making them pay me one day because they're getting too comfortable. Way too comfortable. Who is your favorite female artist? My favorite female artist would have to be Summer Walker and Cardi B. Like, that hood side would definitely be Cardi B and that soft side of me is definitely Summer Walker. Heavy on them. Uh, my favorite male artist, I would have to say Kid and um, Little Baby. This is the first thing you do if you won a lottery. I would definitely give half to my mother, like, 
what there's no questions about it like that's my mother that's my everything and everything i do is because of her the reason why i don't give up on life is because of her simple no questions about it um when was the last time you cried the last time i cried was three days ago first of all i'm a huge cry baby i cry about everything and then i sleep and i'm just like fuck it like i get over really fast but the reason why i cried is because a lot of people don't know but three days ago i got into a car accident it was my fault um i didn't tell anybody because i feel like nobody really gives a fuck about me like that to even ask about what the fuck is going on in my life um, I'm trying to just learn how to keep things in and not just tell social media every single thing about me. Yeah, if I wasn't on my phone, that accident was not going to happen. Um, but yeah, I didn't cry right, right away. I cried a few hours later because I'm just like, I'm so stupid. Like, why do I always drive? with my phone in my hands like it's not that serious like i'm always on my phone doing something while driving and i and that accident needed to happen to like teach me yo your life can end at any minute stop playing with it um so i cried and then i thought about it i'm just like why are you crying first of all you got insurance you did not even damage his car you gave him a little scratch on his bumper that's about it my car is still drivable like you could have died your car could have been ruined but it's not ruined I, what is life teaching you right now life is teaching me um to just enjoy my own company because a lot of people that you think fuck with you they really don't like, you don't want to be surrounded by weird energy so i'm learning to just love being by myself i feel like i cut everybody off because i don't like thick energy I, I sense shit. I used to be like a people person. I would love inviting my friends out to wherever I go. I want to have picnics on the beach. I want to do this. I want to do that. But then I learned like, why am I doing that? Who's inviting me to shit like that? Like, who's really taking the time to get to know me? Like, I feel like I'm super nice to people and they take advantage of that. So I'm just learning to just like be with myself. So I don't ever have to be disappointed about what anybody else does. Um, did you go to college? Yes, I went to a community college at NHTI um, and I got my health science degree and also I became an orthopedic tech. Um, worst decision I ever made. They did not tell me they paid ass. Like I went to school for all that shit just so they can pay me fucking $21 an hour. The fuck is that? No, at first they were paying me $18 an hour and then they gave me a raise to $21 an hour. But at the end of the day, if I'm going to school, why the fuck am I getting paid $21 an hour? My tuition wasn't $21. The fuck? Um, so I ended up being a CNA and now I'm going to pay $30 an hour, $35, almost $40 an hour. So y'all be sleeping on cnas but i'm telling you that's where the money's at period you got if you got a clean ass clean the fucking ass and get that fucking bread okay